everybody, it's me, Stacy, here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, and this is Saturday with Stacy, YouTube number 209. We are in hot, hot, hot California. I mean, seriously, holy smokes, artichokes, hot California. You could literally smoke an artichoke outside right now. It's about 112 degrees, and I know I must be getting older because all of a sudden that heat that I used to be able to deal with because I grew up here, I was born here, I was raised here, dealt with the heat all the time. All of a sudden the heat is like, <gasps> and it just zaps every bit of energy out of me. So thankfully the air conditioning vent is literally right above me and it just feels so good. I don't wanna know what my, what my electrical bill is gonna be this month, but in this moment in time, it's okay. I'm good with it. <laughs> Now, we have got a super fun YouTube for you today. I will let you know that the product just arrived, literally just arrived. It was, uh, it was coming in from Australia. It's by Ultimate Crafts, which is also the same company that does Couture Creations. And it got lost for a while, <laughs> but it's been found and we held our faith. We believed it would show up for this YouTube. And gosh, maybe two hours ago it landed and it was like, oh, because I didn't know what I was going to do. There was no plan B, <laughs> but now there doesn't have to be one. I'm very happy. Oh my goodness gracious. Now I've got a bundle for you that Ultimate Crafts has put together. It's valued at $89.99, but you're not going to pay anywhere near that. Truly nowhere near that. It is an amazing bundle. So I'm excited to show that to you. We've got technique going on in this YouTube that some of you may have seen, some of you may not have seen, some of you may have forgotten that you saw it, some of you may have just done it last night and said, oh, I just did something like that. Woohoo! <laughs> We've got winner, winner, chicken dinner to talk about. I do want to give you an update on our GoPress foil machines. Those machines have landed along with the foils, the stamp plates, all of that product for the GoPress foil has landed here in the United States and now we're just waiting for it to clear customs. And customs, again, customs has a very important job. Their job is to make sure that everything that comes into the United States from another country is safe. And so we give customs all the props in the world and we don't bother them, we don't harass them, they clear it when they clear it and they get it released to be delivered to us as quickly as they can, but they have an important job. So I'm anticipating at least two, two and a half weeks for the product to actually land, even though it's here in the States, for it to get cleared, um, well, cleared, released, and then delivered. Once that happens, then we're going to start processing all of the orders that we have for the GoPress foil machine and or all the plates and foils that go with it. And yes, we have we every every order will be filled complete. We have enough machines on order. In fact, we have all the machines on order. Sorry. <laughs> so we took the entire shipment. Um, us and I think HSN got a few. So we we've got them all on order and we've got enough to ship everybody their orders and a few extras <laughs> so we can have some back in stock. <laughs> Now, if you're going to look to buy this at your local retailer and they plan on carrying it, hang tight. I would think they would have them by September. So hang tight if you're looking to get this at your local retailer and they're going to be carrying the machine. Just ask them. And if so, I would think that they'll be in stock for them around September because now we have to wait for the next boat to get here with the next set of, of GoPress foil machines on it. So with that being said, I have winner, winner, chicken dinner to talk about from the last YouTube, YouTube number 208, which were the duty stickers, fabulous stickers, unbelievable price, beautiful, great company, also an international company. So, you know, they'll ship them as quickly as they can to us, but they have to go through customs. And so uh, just keep that in mind, but fabulous company. We love them to death. And these two people are people who posted a comment on last week's YouTube and our random picker picked their name. Congratulations to them. If you want a chance to win product from this YouTube, which would be the bundle that I'm going to be showing you, all you have to do is watch this YouTube and then post a comment on this YouTube. You do have to have a user login for YouTube and you have to subscribe to Scrapbooking Made Simple and then you can post a comment. As long as your comment is kind, just has to be kind. It can be about anything you want as long as it's nice. It can be about, yeah, it's super hot here where I live or 
or I, I, the, it's raining where we live, we'd love to see the sun. It can be anything as long as it's nice. Nice is all that matters and that this, my, this meaning me, my personal appearance, <laughs> is a wee bit off limits. If you can refrain from, from commenting, that would be most appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm not planning on whitening my teeth anytime soon, but thank you for letting me know that perhaps I should. <laughs> I'm good, really, I am. <laughs> okay, so these two lucky winners posted a nice comment and it got approved and now look it, they're being rewarded with a winner winner chicken dinner. And if you are Shelly Ocker, A-U-K-E-R, Shelly Ocker, congratulations to you, girlfriend. Way to go. <laughs> See, good deeds do have good things that happen to them. That's awesome. You are not alone, though, Shelly. You have a friend. Oh, I don't even know. This must be a business of some sort. But I like her name. Patchwork and Crafts. Well, Patchwork and Crafts, you too are a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And you are going to win uh, the one of the bundles of the or maybe both bundles we will give you both bundles both of you will win both bundles of the duty stickers woohoo yay and if you already ordered them that's okay who doesn't need more they'll last forever and and oh my goodness all the things you'll be able to make with them so congratulations patchwork and crafts and Shelly Ocker I hope I'm pronouncing your name right uh, the Shelly was the easy part the a u k e r so if that's you, what do you do to claim your prize? Just go to scrapbookingmadesimple.com, look for the link that says winner, winner, chicken dinner, click it, follow the directions, and then just as soon as possible, Kayla and Dale will get your prizes out to you. Wahoo kachoo, you'll have happy mail in your mailbox. Now, we do have our free make and take going on downstairs right now. Today is, well today is 7717, but you're gonna be watching this on 7817. So if you're watching this in, in 2020, the make and take's over, sorry. The bundle's probably gone too, sorry. <laughs> but if you're watching this on 7817, well, woohoo, kachoo, you've spent Saturday with me and it has been a blast. I love spending Saturday with you. This is one of my most favorite things to do now because you've become my external family. My family's very, very small, but I feel like I know all of you so well. All right, so anyway, we've got our free make and take going on. I'm going to tilt on down. I'm going to show you what it is, and then we're going to get started for today. Are you ready to tilt on down? Here we go. Bye. I'm surprised I haven't melted. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave that comment alone, actually, <laughs> especially since I'm going to be the Wicked Witch of the West for the shop that didn't hop and our upcoming warehouse sale. Now this is the free make and take that we have going on downstairs. And I want you to pay attention to the paper, the paper here, the embossing folder. That's all part of the bundle that I have to show you. But I also have it in a different, uh, different color scheme. The embossing folder is beautiful. It's got the reindeer on it. You've got a uh, paper that I'm gonna be showing you and then handmade paper. Pretty rock star. But before I get to there, I'm going to start here. This is one of the dies that's part of the bundle that I'm gonna be showing you. And the bundle has dies, embossing uh, folders, stamps, six by six paper pad, it has handmade paper, it has paper flowers, it has embellishments. It's a well-rounded, unbelievable bundle. So it's not just all dies, it's not just all stamps, it's a whole package. But this is the one I'm gonna start with. And again, it's by Ultimate Crafts, and it is a beautiful little fireplace scene. And this die itself retailed for, I think, $12.99 or $14.99 all by itself. And this is the one I'm gonna play with today. What am I gonna do with it? Well, that's what I'm gonna show you. We're gonna be playing with uh, Stacy tape or Simply Defined Adhesive. If you have another adhesive, by all means, if you have Elizabeth Crafts adhesive or you have Score tape, which is actually Sukwang tape, those are going to work as well. 
The thing about the simply defined adhesive is that it's a little bit stronger, it's a little bit longer, and it's a little bit less money, but it's not mandatory that you have it. If you've got your, your own score pal sukwang, it says sukwang all the way across it. If you've got that tape, you're going to be able to do this as well. Don't feel like you can't um, and that you have to run right out and get my tape, you don't. When you run out of that, gosh, we would sure appreciate it, but we would understand if you don't. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this die and the die is black. I've never seen a black die before. This is the first time I've actually seen a black die. It is a wafer die because you can see how wafer thin it is. There's just wafer thin. It has ridges on one side and it's flat on the other. Flat, ooh, that was good. Ridges. Now those ridges are what's going to cut your paper. There is no blade, so you can't get hurt with this. There's no blade in it, but those ridges are going to, uh, you're gonna run it through your machine, it's gonna put pressure on it, and it's going to cut into that paper. These dies will work with your cuddle bug, it will work with your spell binders, it will work with your big shot machine, your big kick machine, your vagabond machine, your express machine, your pro machine, almost any machine out there that you that is a a roller roller type machine uh original sizzix a press machine not so much but any kind of a roller machine that you have you'll find that you should be able to use these types of dies so i'm going to start with this and the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to cut it out of black paper so i'm going to bring over my big shot machine and i have got it on my standard multi-purpose platform. This is not, uh, this does not come with your machine. The, with your machine, you get the extended multi-purpose platform. I do like the smaller platform because 90 to 95% of my dies will fit on it and it's not as big. But if all you have is the larger platform, that's okay. Everything I show you is going to be the exact same on that larger platform. You're gonna use it exactly the same. You don't need to have this if you don't want to have this. This is like, this is like the cherry on the on the Sunday. This is like an extra little ooh, -hoo. <laughs> or if somebody says, "Gosh, I just don't know what to get her for her birthday," or "I don't want to know what to get him for Father's Day," and you wanted this, this is a little extra something something that you can add to your stash, and you'll be happy you have it. But if you don't, that's okay. Everything I do is going to be exactly the same on your extended multi-purpose platform. So I've got my platform completely closed. All my tabs are closed because I am using a wafer die and I am gonna be using a precision base plate. This is made by Sizzix. It only goes in Sizzix branded machines. You can't use this with a cuddle bug and you can't use this with a spellbinder machine. This is a Sizzix branded product and it needs to go with Sizzix machines. One thing you need to know about this is that it is meant for intricate only dies. Intricate. So the die I'm working with is very intricate. Look at all of those little bits and pieces versus perhaps a circle die that's just a big frame. You're not going to want to use this on that because there's no structure in the middle to hold that circle from warping. So when you use a precision base plate, it is meant for intricate dies only. Now, mine looks like this because I've used it lots and lots and lots, and I suppose I could clean it if I wanted to by taking a baby wipe. I don't frankly care, it works just the same, but if you want to take a baby wipe and get all of that paper out, you absolutely can do that. The thing also about a precision base plate, it has to go down. If you can read the directions, oh, there's our there's our fire truck. It wouldn't be a Stacy YouTube if there wasn't one. <laughs> if you can read the directions on how to use this, like this, you're doing it wrong. You need to have them away from you. You don't want to read those directions. If you can read them and you're about to put your die through, stop, stop. It needs to go metal up so you can't read the directions. Then I'm going to put my paper down and I'm just using black paper, my die ridges against my paper, and I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab a really nicely warped cutting plate. So your precision base plate takes the place of one of your cutting plates, and I'm going to send it through. I'm 
just gonna roll, roll, roll. And then because I am on a, a intricate die, I'm just gonna do a rotate. So I sent it through this way. Now I'm gonna rotate it this way, just so that the roller under the in the machine will hit the die in a new and unique way. And therefore, if it didn't cut the first time, the roller will hit it slightly different, allowing it to cut the second time. Take that little extra step and you will find that most often your dies are gonna cut just beautifully. All right, well, it sure did. Now I can turn it over and I can see that it's cut. If there was a space that hadn't cut, I could put it right back down and maybe turn it at an angle and send it on through, but I can see that it cut very well. And then I'm just gonna get all my little bits and pieces out. And this is where Michael, Mr. SMS, comes into his office, cause this is his office. <laughs> comes into his office on Monday and says, oh, <laughs> my, 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 Stacy, <laughs> what did you do in that YouTube? But Michael and the boys, I have two boys. One of uh, James just turned 16 and Michael is turning, Michael Jr. is turning 15. They are actually on the way up to Santa Cruz, California. So one of our, one of Michael's, well, one of Michael's brothers is having, um, having a little procedure. So they want to go up and be with him to help out. All right, so I have got, we're just gonna hide that right now, there we go. I have got a beautiful, look at how cute is that die. Isn't that darling? And like I said, it's all part of the bundle. But how do you color this? How do you color this? You've got little bits of a whole bunch of stuff to color. You know, do you just tape it down and take a marker and go in there and color it? Well, I wanted to do something a little bit different with it, and I wanted to show you how. Some of you, like I said, may have already seen this, but we're gonna play with some of the glitter I used last, did I use it last week? I can't even remember. Yes, I used it last week. Yes, I did. It's the same kaleidoscope glitter from Stampendous that I used last week. And so I'm gonna bring over a piece of white paper. And I'm going to grab some of my Stacy tape. And you're like, but that has nothing to do with coloring. Just wait, <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I'm just gonna tear me off a hunk. Now this is sticky right now. I have to do something with it. Oh, I cut a lot, but that's okay. I'm gonna put it right down on my white paper. Don't need this much, but okay, we'll go with it. And press it down. So do I have, I have Stacy tape on white. This is actually 100 pound cardstock, some of my 100 pound cardstock. Now Stacy tape comes in everything from 1 8 of an inch to 6 inches. This is actually 5 inches. So it comes in a whole bunch of, of widths. So you can do just about anything. I think this one's about, I think that's a half inch. Now, as long as you leave that liner on, as long as you leave that liner on, you're good. You don't have to use it right away. But when you pull that liner off, once you do that, and I'm actually gonna cut this half off. Just cut that little piece off and save that for something else. Once you pull that liner off, you have to do something with it because it's sticky right then and there. So I am, I'm gonna take the liner off and expose the sticky. But I'm not gonna throw, I'm not gonna throw my liner away. I'm not. Now, I'm gonna put that off to the side and I'm going to take my die cut. And I'm gonna put that die cut right down on the sticky. Yeah, really, right down on the sticky. I'm gonna take that liner piece that I said don't throw away and I'm gonna use that to press my die cut right onto the adhesive. 
give it a good press. You want to make sure that you adhere it really, really, really good and pull it off. Okay, so now I've got my die cut right there on the sticky. But I have to still do something because this is still sticky. That's where the glitter comes in. And again, this is a, an ultra fine or a micro fine from Stampendous. We had it on the YouTube Yummy last week. Any kind of a micro fine will do. They call theirs ultra fine, but it really is pretty micro. I'm gonna let gravity do most of my work. So I'm gonna run a layer of glitter right along. Oh, we have another ambulance going by. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. And then I'm just gonna tilt it on down and let gravity do the work. And that gravity is going to go down all over the sticky and where it's still sticky, the glitter is going to adhere. Then I'm going to take my makeup brush and again, e.l.f. And somebody was so kind on, on YouTube, I can't remember who it was. It was a guy, it was a gentleman, and he posted the link. Okay, are we done? Okay, he posted the link about where you can get these. This is an e.l.f. brush and they sell them at Target. They sell them at, um, at Walmart. So he posted a link about this because it's a dollar. It's a great value. So I'm gonna take this, my makeup brush, and I'm gonna brush off all the excess glitter. It really takes very little glitter. Okay. Now I've got glitter all over my table, but I'll take my glitter cleanup cloth and just wipe it right up. Done. Then I have to take my finger and I have to burnish it. And, and somebody else was really kind and they said, Stacy, you can actually see your, the glitter get happy because that's what happens. When you take it and you burnish it with your finger, you're setting the glitter in place and it brightens up. See all that extra glitter that came off? It's not needed. So I'll take my glitter cleanup cloth one more time, wipe it all up. Take my brush one more time. Get any extra that I don't need off. And I'm good. So now what I have is a die cut on Stacy tape. And then I've glittered over the top. Now you may be asking, why didn't you put the glitter down first and then just adhere the die cut to the glitter? Just put Stacy tape on the back of the black paper and die cut it out and then stick it on top of the glitter. Well, that die cut being down first is going to act as a barrier because we're going to add ink to this and I didn't want the ink to seep out underneath. And even though this is ultra fine glitter and it, it, fe it doesn't even feel like glitter, it still is made up of granules. And if I had glittered my whole piece of cardstock first and then put my die cut down, no matter how well I put it down, there's still gonna be highs and lows in those granules and it may allow ink to seep on out. I wanted to avoid that. So I put my die cut down first onto the tape and it's creating a barrier because there was no glitter down so it was a really great um, contact between the die and the adhesive and then the glitter over the top. You would never know looking at it what came first so when you're doing this technique, and even if you're using peel-offs, because we've used peel-offs before to do this, the peel-off or the die cut would go down on the tape first, then glitter over the top, okay? So I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start to color, but what do I color with? Let's see, I brought some up with me this time. Ha ha, I brought up a red Sharpie, and I brought up a black Sharpie and I have a Copic blender pen right here. 
This is the key to everything, a Copic blender pin. If you never buy another Copic in your entire life, you should have the Copic blender pin if you want to do this type of a technique. This is it. We sell them for $5.25. We can't sell them for any less than that because that's our agreed upon uh, pricing with Copic. I think Dick Blick sells them for $5.24. So I suppose we could go to $5.24. But this is it. This is what's going to make your life happy. Does not matter if you use a Bic or a Sharpie or a Copic. Frankly, I would stick with the Bix and the Sharpie, anything that's a permanent marker, and leave my good Copic colors aside as long as you buy the blender pin. So what's going to happen when I do this? Well, I'm going to dab a little bit of color. And when I say a little bit, I don't even know if you'll be able to see where I dabbed color. I put it in that one, and it's at the bottom and it's literally two dots of a black Sharpie. Then I'm going to take my blender pen. I've left myself some room off to the side so I can make sure that my blender pen is running clear. Once it runs clear, you're good to go. And I'm gonna take that black and I'm gonna wick it out. If I want it a little darker, add another dot or two. But I'm going to wick it out. And then I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to add a few little dots. I'm not coloring. I'm dotting. Oh, I got a lot in there. Probably can add a little bit of that one up here. So I'm just dotting. So I'm taking my pen and I am literally putting in, seriously, a, a dot or two. There. Just a dot or two. I did this one. That's all it takes. Ooh. And then I am using my Copic Blender pen to just pull that color out onto the rocks that make up the stone on my fireplace. Little bit, tiny bit of ink goes a really long way. And it is one of the easiest ways to color because you can get a little bit of shading and a little bit of shadow and definition and all your, you don't have to be a good colorer to do this. You be, have to be able to dot. If you can dot, you can do this. And it'll just fill in the color just the way you want it. And if you get it too dark, that's the beautiful thing about this. If you get it too dark, let's say your stone is too dark, you just clear your brush your Copic, and then you can go back in and you can pick up color. So let me do that again and let me see if I can get it really close up. Let me do another big one. So let's say, let's say I'm doing this one here. So I put, I put several dots right there. I'm going to clear my brush and I'm gonna just wick this out. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, but look at how dark it is. See how dark that is? That's the beautiful thing about the blender brush is that you can go back in and if it's clear, you can erase and pick up color if you've added too much but you get the highs and the lows and you get a beautiful finish. And yes, it's on glitter and that's okay. This is Christmas, this is awesome. I think once you're done, you'll see that it really doesn't matter if it's on glitter or not. It just looks beautiful. 
It is almost a stained glass effect. So I'm just going to move that black right on out. So I have some highs, some lows, some mid-tones. So not everything. If you were just going to color it, just put it on paper and color behind it. Unless you were using Copic markers, you would have a hard time getting the shadings and the highs and the lows. But putting it on the glitter makes it so forgiving. Because if you need a little, if you want a little more highlight, you just go back in and pick up some of that color and it just disappears. It just disappears. It's so forgiving. So then maybe I want to do... Let's see, maybe I'll do my part of my hearth in a burgundy. Now this one I didn't have in a Sharpie. We only use black and red Sharpies here at the store. <laughs> but Sharpies are very inexpensive. Bix are very inexpensive. Permanent markers at Staples or Sam's Club or Walmart. Very inexpensive. So I have put a line of color right in that in, in that full area right here I just went right along the die cut and now I'm gonna make sure that my brush is clean see even the tip may be the tip may be black but that's okay the brush runs clean that's all you care about and then I'm gonna grab some of this and I'm gonna start pulling it out I'm just going to pull it out. I'm not coloring, not like this. I'm just kind of dabbing and grabbing and kind of flicking it, flicking it out. And you don't want to spend too long on any one part because this is alcohol in here. This is an alcohol-based product. And eventually it will start eating away at your glitter and your adhesive. But if you just get in there, And I can rub it off. Now we know some people who will have a Copic blender for when they actually color with their Copics and then they'll have a Copic blender for when they want to do this technique. That way their nibs don't get um, crossed. Being that the blender is only $5.25, it's okay to have two. So now I've started to wick it out. And you've got the highs and the lows and maybe I want a little more color down in the corners to add a little more definition. Then I just add a little more color to it. Take it, kind of press right over and blend out those lines. And now I've added more definition to my sides. Maybe at my top, I want a little less color. I can go in there and I can literally pick it up. It's up to you. What do you want it to look like? But it's so nice to be able to have options. And then of course I have my flames. And this, this is where I'm gonna actually blend two colors because I want them to look flamey. <laughs> is that a word? <laughs> I'm gonna take my red Sharpie and I'm going to dab a little bit of color down at the bottom of one flame. A little bit of color down at the bottom of one flame. But I'm going to take my yellow, and this is my Copic because I don't have a yellow Sharpie, but by gosh, there's yellow Sharpies, yellow Bix. And I'm going to dab a little of that color right at the top. So now I've got a little bit of red at the bottom and a little bit of yellow at the top. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flick that red up just a little bit. And then I'm going to pull that yellow down into my red. And I'm going to make it look like a fire by blending those two colors. And it all has to do with the Copic Blender Pin. It is not a, 
There's lots of blender pins out there, but the blender pins do different things. This is an alcohol-based blender pin, and it has the beautiful nib at the top where a lot of other markers do not have that beautiful nib. And since you're not investing in a whole Copic line, I do recommend this, the, the Copic marker over some of the other, the Copic blender over some of the other alcohol markers out there. The nib is just that much better. And I can go in and just add a little bit of red, hardly anything at all. And a little bit of yellow and make my flame. And because I put my die cut down first, my ink is not going out and under. It's not expanding out and seeping out and under. You want to put your die cut or your peel off down first. Well, okay, I only have a few more to go, so I might as well just finish my flame because it will bother me if I don't. And I really don't have that much to do. So one, two, three, done. So you can blend with it. Maybe a little more red. And you can play with it and make it what you want it to be. You have choices, you have options, and there really is no making a mistake here. There. So now I've got a nice roaring fire with my rock fireplace that I've started to color in. I've got my beautiful hearth, but we're not done. Now we want to what do you, okay, you've got it this far, Stacy. Now what are you gonna do with it? What do I do with it now? Well, I think the next thing I'm gonna do is take one of the stamps that come in the, the bundle that we have for you. It's all Christmas related. And I think the stamp that I'm going to use is I Believe. You get joy to the world. May your heart be filled with the true spirit of Christmas. Uh, may the true meaning of Christmas bring you joy. So all of the stamps come in the bundle, but I think I'm going to use the I Believe. I used this one a little bit earlier and it looked great. Now, of course, the stamp sets, most stamp sets this size retail for $14.99. I want to say that theirs retailed for about $8.99. So now I've used a die that's $12.99 and a stamp set that's $8.99. And um, for just a, literally a few dollars more, you're gonna get a world of product. Now I'm gonna bring over my stamp blocks. These are the blocks that I've changed to. I used to use the Tim Holtz grid blocks, which are awesome blocks. Love them, I still have them in my personal stash. But Ducrafts came out with these and they're just wonderful. First off, I love the storage idea because they fit right into, right into a beautiful foam mat. Then you've got five sizes. $12.50 for all of this. And then we'll have it on a YouTube Yummy. Now, I'm not supposed to tell you this. Oh, I'm gonna get in trouble. Okay, so when Dan Dan the Dewcraft Man asked me what I really wanted for Christmas, I said I wanted another block set. And I wanted it to be larger so that you got like a bigger, like a bigger block here, like to do a really big one and then and then they are making it. I'm very excited. <laughs> it won't be here till like November, but at least I know that they're making it and I think it's going to be the exact same price. Holy smokes, artichokes. Okay, so shh. I hope he doesn't watch this YouTube. <laughs> shh. <laughs> he didn't ask me to sign a confidentiality agreement. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to take my block. They are gridded, which is really, really nice. Yeah, I think if I recall, I think the image I saw, the largest block on the new one was like eight by five. Oh, that's amazing. Amazing. So, and then there was other ones over here. 
Okay, so they are gridded. They're not as thin as a Tim Holtz grid block, but they're not as thick as many of the other blocks on the market. And again, I mean, I know companies that will sell you this one block in the middle for more than $12.50, let alone five blocks. And then we've got them on a YouTube Yummy. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my I Believe right onto my, my block. And this is a clear stamp that clings to the block. So those of you who have never seen stamping before, it's a clear stamp that clings to the block and you can take it on and off and on and off. It's not sticky. It just clings to the block. And if for some reason it stops clinging, all you have to do is wash the stamp in a light uh, dishwashing detergent like Dawn or Palmolive and wash your block and then let them dry. Because usually what happens is the oils from your hand or the glitter or the embossing powder will get behind it and make it stop sticking. But all you have to do is wash it and easy peasy. I am using a gush mat. A gush mat is simply defined gush mat. It is something to stamp on. You need a stamp mat. If you try to stamp on a hard surface, you're giving nothing for the stamp to sink into. You can't make the best contact with your with your stamp and your paper if you're on a hard surface. There's nothing for it to sink down into. Hence the reason it became the gush mat because I would call it, you need to gush into it. So this is half the size of our gush mat. It's $1.99, so it's actually eight and a half by 11 or eight by 10. It's $1.99, you can cut it up, share it with a friend. But if you're not a great stamper, it may be because you're trying to stamp on a hard surface. Try a gush mat and you may find that all of a sudden your stamping is coming out so much better. I'm gonna use some Memento ink. It is our all-purpose ink here at Scrapbooking Made Simple because it does just about everything. You saw how I inked up my pad. I held my stamp in my hand, inked up. And then I'm gonna center it. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, A, B, C, and up I go. And I have stamped directly onto my glitter. It will take it just a second to dry. Now you could have stamped on a mat and put it here. You could have done whatever you wanted, but I stamped directly onto the glitter. No problem. Then I'm gonna cut this out. And again, I know some of you are gonna say, oh, she's free handing again. Yes, yes I am. <laughs> I don't have room for a trimmer on my YouTube table because this is only, a, I, I, have a, I have a regular like table from Sam's Club. It's about six foot wide by about 30 inches deep and everything's got to fit on it. So I'm just going to freehand it. Not that I freehand well. I'll see if I can clean it up once I'm done. Let's clean that side up. Get it a little straighter. That looks pretty good. Cut off my top. Oh, okay. That's not so bad. Let's cut this side down just a little bit. Should have used a trimmer. Let's... Oh, come on. Okay, we're going to be done because I'll sit here and play with it. All right, so I have got my finished piece. Now all I have to do is mat it and make a card or use it as an embellishment on my on my scrapbook page or make it a cute little tag to put on your Christmas presents. It's really up to you. And part of the bundle, part of the bundle is, oh, I'm gonna need to trim it down just a little bit more so it fits on my mat over here. Okay, so I'm not gonna pay attention. I'm just gonna go, 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 go. Think long, think wrong. Done, look at that, perfect. Go, 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 go. Think long, think wrong. Perfect. Actually, I did better that time. <laughs> <laughs> so 
so part of the bundle oh and look at that part of the bundle we have for you is handmade paper is that not fabulous look at how beautiful is this so ultimate crafts did this bundle of handmade paper bundle of handmade paper that's going to come in your in your bundles when you receive them in all of these fabulous colors oh my gosh they're beautiful and they're textured and they've got substance to them and and they give they give a feeling to them it's just fabulous so then i could take and grab some of my stacy tape Simply defined adhesive if you're looking for it. I would put some around the whole thing. I'm just putting it down the center for time. Although if I, <laughs> I took too much time freehanding, <laughs> I'm gonna mat it right onto my beautiful textured handmade paper. We're good. And then there's six by six paper that comes with it. There's a whole six by six pad. And, oh, I think that looks really super cute. So I'm just gonna cut that down to size. And mat this together. And I have made, now all I gotta do is add it to a card base. And I'm good to go. How cute is that? <laughs> and easy peasy, all using a die. And now when you feel it, because you put that die cut down first on the Stacy tape, you can't feel a difference it all feels the same level because that glitter has filled in all the little places all the little places really very cool and really very simple and again think about all the die cuts you already own a little bit of the stampendous glitter some big or sharpie pens and a copic blender some adhesive tape and you're good to go Ta da Now, remember, I had this piece left over. I had this piece left over from when I pulled it off to expose my sticky, and then I used it to press my die cut down. This is the liner that comes on the tape. We're gonna use this one more time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the actual liner. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna die cut. So I'm gonna bring my die cut machine right back over. I'm gonna put my ridges. I've got my liner on my multi or on my multi-purpose platform and my precision base plate. My ridges face down, and I'm gonna send this on through and die cut that liner. And then I'm gonna do a quick rotate and send it on back. So instead of cutting cardstock, I'm cutting that liner. And you can see it just all, all falls out. Again, I can already hear Mr. SMS going, oh, yippee. <laughs> we had to buy a new vacuum <laughs> for, for upstairs <laughs> because I guess my aim to the trash can with this stuff isn't always as good as it should be. <laughs> okay, so I wanna get all my little bits and pieces out and I think I've got most of them that last one out and that one out there and that one out there 
So now I have made a die cut using the liner, which of course you could use for anything. I mean, why throw that liner away? You can use it to die cut with and use that as an embellishment, but I'm gonna do something else with it. I'm gonna bring back a piece of white paper. I'm gonna take my Stacy tape again, peel me off some, rip it, put it down, way more than I need. Way more than I need. Let's, uh, let's cut some of it down and I will keep that to use later. As long as I don't pull the liner piece off, as long as I don't pull that off, I can use this at any time to make stickers, to do whatever I want. Now I'm gonna take and expose my sticky. And this is where we had put the die cut, the black die cut. I'm not gonna do the black die cut. I'm going to put the liner right down on top, just like we did before. And I'm gonna stick it down really good, just like we did before. So now you don't throw this piece away. You always save the liner because there's so much to be done with them. Okay, I think I'm good. Now I can take my glitter and I can kind of go across and then let gravity kind of do its thing and tilt it on down so that it covers all the space gravity do its thing and then turn it around and I can grab another spoonful run it all the way across and then tilt it down and let gravity do its thing that's easier to me than trying to shake it and move it it's easier to let gravity do its thing and fill all that space in then so this is where I'm at. I've got glitter. You can barely even see that that liner is underneath there, but it is. Then I'm gonna brush it off. Brush it off. Clean up, clean up my mess. All right, then I'm gonna give a burnish. And I know it may be hard to see. Can you see the white? Can you see the um, fireplace and the hearth? I'm gonna burnish from that point out. I'm gonna burnish out, not in, because I don't want that, that liner to pull up. I wanna burnish out. Burnish out. Get the glitter happy. Just use your finger. That's it. Brush it off one more time. Clean up my mess. And now now what am I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab a black glitter, a matte black glitter, or maybe I should grab some, no, I'm gonna grab a matte black glitter. But you could do this with any color glitter you want, any color. You can do this with embossing powder and then heat it and emboss it because the Stacy tape is heat resistant. So you could run embossing powder down. So the next thing I need to do is peel off that sticker that I put down. And it has acted as a mask. So every place that this was, the glitter isn't. Let me see if I can get kind of an angle in there for you. Can you see it in there? And then, let's open a separate bowl. Then I'm just gonna drizzle on
some matte black glitter. take my little brush and I'm just gonna brush it around and look at what's happening where that mask was we used this as a mask because the only thing that doesn't stick to the sticky is the liner that it comes with well and we were able to get the ice ice layers from um, from Faber-Castell to not stick to them but look at this And every place that mask was, when I pulled it off and I exposed it, ta-da, it's like magic. Now, if this was embossing powder, I could take this and heat it and I would have an embossed beautiful finish to it. Absolutely. And because it's a mask, because it's a mask, you don't have to do it all the same color. Let's put that aside really quickly and let's put that aside and let's grab another piece of paper and let's add some Stacy tape to it really quick. Put it down. down just a little bit because it's off the sides. What if you say that's nice, but what if I wanted my fireplace to be a different color? Okay. Expose my sticky, take my mask of my die cut, put it down, press it down really good because you want to make sure that that glitter doesn't go underneath when you're adding when you're adding multiple layers of glitter or embossing powder. You want to make sure that you've got it all down really good. I know people who will even just take a brayer and go over it just to make sure that it's down really good. Peel it up. Let's add my glitter to it super quick. Whoop. Kind of let it walk on down. Right across. And let it walk on down. Filling in all of that empty space, that sticky space without you having to try and tap it this way and tap it that way. A little bit on my edges right there. Off we go. Take my makeup brush, brush it off. I'm not going to clean up my mess. Give it a quick burnish. Start from my inside and work out. And then you can just do the whole thing. But this is where we're gonna change it up a little bit. And now I will clean up my mess. Glitter cleanup cloth, one, two, three, easy peasy. Just gonna trim it down a little bit. Okay, so we're back to where we were. My mask is still on there. But remember, I don't want it to be all one color. I can go in there with an X-Acto blade. Well, I have a, a yeah, and a blade of some sort, and I can separate out what I want to be black. So I don't want. Let's see if I can do it with my scissors here. I don't want that to be black, and I don't want that to be black. And. I think we'll cut here and we'll cut here. Okay, 
So I'm going to pull this first. Tweezers. Yes. So I pulled this piece off first, which means I can do that piece in another color. And let me just grab a random, a random color. How about gold? Gold work for you? I can just do a random color. Let me get another bowl. I can drizzle my gold glitter on or my gold embossing powder or my mega flakes if I want to put some mega flakes on here. Drizzle it right over that area. Take my brush. Kind of just lightly pat it so that it starts filling in. Dump off the rest. And now, now I can take and peel off. But if I wanted to, I could do even more. I could mat and, or cut into and change my my mat even more. Well, I'll just do it all in black for. So I'll pull the rest of my mat off. I've exposed my sticky. And this time, how about we do it in, um, what have I got over here? How about we do it in a red glitter just for emphasis. So I'll just drizzle a little bit of red glitter in there. Not too much. You can always add. I didn't drizzle too much in there. And then I'm going to just take my little brush and I'm just going to move it around. And where it's sticky, it's going to stick. This is all from die cutting. This is from using a die. Maybe add a little bit more. Fill in all of that space. And then when you think you've got it, oh, I'm gonna contaminate my glitters, but Brush it off really good. Trim it out. And make your card. Or your embellishment. It's up to you. How do you want to do it? You have lots of options. And think about all the dies you have that you can now do this with. So not only did we use the die cut, we use the die cut as a mask. We use the die cut as a mask. So the first thing we did is we actually used the die. We used the die, the die cut, we put the paper on the Stacy tape, we glittered over the top of it, and then we colored it with Bic or Sharpies. Feels flush. Can't even tell that there's paper there. It feels all the same. We stamped right onto the glitter, no problem. Then we made a mask out of using the liner, which is why I say never throw this away because it's the only thing you can really make a mask out of. So if you never throw it away, you can be making masks to do all sorts of beautiful glitter. We used a mask to do here, and then we used that same mask, only we took a 
uh, an X-Acto blade or a pair of scissors and we cut the mask up so that we could control what colors we wanted where. Oh my gosh, all out of one, one dye. So much to do. Holy smokes artichokes. And that all the, the dye comes in the bundle and, and oh my gosh, you should see the samples that we have for the bundle. They don't have the glitter on them like I just did, but I wanted to show you a technique or remind you of a technique that you might have forgotten about. How easy it is to use what you already have, the dyes you already have, the glitter you probably already have, and again, embossing powder, if you did this in all black embossing powder and then heat it up, Stacy tape is heat resistant. It will withstand the embossing and it will not burn and it will not bubble. So then you could have this beautiful raised embossed look to it. All the different looks. So easy, so, so easy and fun, especially if you like to color but you're not a great colorer. This is an awesome way to just go in there, add a little bit, add a little bit of color. Oh, I'm going to use my add a little bit of color, add a little bit of color, take your blender pen from Copic, make sure that it's clear, and then just wick it out and get some highlights and some shadows and some shading. So easy. And you can do it in front of your TV set. All right, so I want to show you some samples first. No, I'm going to show you what's in the bundle first, and then I'm going to show you the samples that were made. So in the bundle, you get both sets, the metallic ferns and the poinsettias. So you get both of those. Then you get three dies. You get the word celebrate. You get the poinsettia. I know, wait till you see the poinsettia in gold. Oh my gosh, the poinsettia. And you get the fireplace, which is the one that I was playing with. Then you get uh, two embossing folders. You get the Merry Christmas and you get the reindeer, which is what we did our samples out of. Then you get <laughs> the stamp set that I was playing with. And you get a six by six paper pad. Gosh, and it has 24 double-sided sheets. So a six by six paper pad, which all the paper I was using today, all the pattern paper came from that. You get beautiful, beautiful sentiments. And wait till you see the, sen the samples with these sentiments. So there's 26 sentiments in here, die cut cards and you get the handmade paper in all the colors that just are regal and royal and beautiful and textured. So it's all of this, all of this comes in the bundle that Ultimate Crafts has sent to us to offer to you. I think it's a pretty rock star bundle. Again, it's about $89.99 and your price is $24.99. So that's quite a bit. Oh, no, this way. Wait till you see the sample. So that's all the goodness that you get. Let me show you the samples. And even if you're not in love with the bundle, I hope you learned something about using the dies that you already have, about taking them a little bit further and doing something a little bit more with them and an easy way to color. So let's start with the samples that we've got. So here is, here's the fireplace. That's an Yvette bow. <laughs> and then we start using all of the papers 
and those ferns and the poinsettias and the die cut embellishments that I showed you. Remember these, you get all of those. So this one is in there. Is that not a gorgeous card? Okay, we're not done. There's the fireplace again. There's the die cut of the poinsettia. And it's all using the paper that comes in the paper pad. How pretty is that? That poinsettia again. There's the poinsettia in the gold. Remember I told you it was beautiful. The handmade paper, the six by six paper, one of the sentiments that comes in the, um, in the embellishment kit. How gorgeous is that? Love this paper. Love that paper. Then we have the poinsettia again and one of the sentiments that come in that embellishment pack. just out of red paper, red and green paper with a little bit of gold flicked onto it. That's a full sheet of the six by six paper with one of the sentiments, a little bow, and the leaves. The leaves are from the, I think the point said it has the leaves. Yes, the point said it has the holly leaves. So those holly leaves, woo, those holly leaves that go all the way around are die cut out from that poinsettia. And this is just one of the six by six pages. How easy and beautiful is this? Love this card. Then we have one of the embossing folders. They've added a few more flowers. You're gonna get the poinsettia. They've inked the embossing folder after they were done embossing it. They've inked the raised part to make it pop. You could sand it as well because this is white court paper. So if you sanded it, that Merry Christmas would be in white. Here they've done one of the other embossing folders and the stamp. And again, they've inked it to give that shabby chic look. You can do all of this with what comes in your kit with what comes in your bundle. Even something as cute and as simple as this. With the handmade paper. Cute, simple, easy. A little bit more elaborate. Add some pine cones and some twine. This one's gorgeous. Celebrate. So you've got the word celebrate, you've got the poinsettia, you've got the vines. There are the fern leaves in the metallic. Celebrate. And last but not least, you've got the Noel. And again, this comes in the embellishment kit. You've got the flower, Noel. So that whole bundle all of those things you saw for $24.99. Oh, that's a great price. <laughs> I'm going to back it up just a, just a little bit. Okay, so if you love the bundle, wonderful. Grab it, get it, enjoy it. If you don't love the bundle, that's okay too. Hopefully you saw how to take your die cuts and use them in a new and unique way. How to color with them on glitter. How to make masks out of your Stacy Tape liner. Don't throw it away. Even the, even the narrow stuff, because even the narrow stuff, you wanna do diagonal stripes and do, oh my gosh, that would be so cute. So if you have a piece of paper with Stacy Tape on it and you have a bunch of these, uh, this size liner, you could do diagonal stripes and then you could pull every other stripe and do that in red glitter. And once you're done with that, pull the other stripes, do that in white glitter. And now you've got a candy cane effect. Oh my gosh, but it's the liner that really makes it happen. So you want to save that. You just get a bag and just put it all in there. And I know you may never use it, but what if you do need it and you don't have it? Oh my gosh. So the bundle, it's limited. We do not have thousands and thousands to sell. It is $89.99, regularly priced. We've got it for $24.99. It is from Ultimate Crafts 
from Australia. They did an amazing job and it's on the YouTube Yummies with a few of the other things. The Stacy Tape is on a YouTube Yummies and the Stamp Blocks are on a YouTube Yummies. And then in two weeks, we start the shop that did not hop sell. So stay tuned for that. And if you follow us on Facebook, you'll see sneak peeks of what's going on. And even if you're not a Facebook user, you can go to our Facebook page because it is a public page and you can see what's going on. You can't post a comment, but that's okay. At least you can see all the pictures of what's happening. So it is me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple. Sun's gone down. I'm not gonna melt when I go outside. Hopefully tomorrow's a little cooler. <laughs> and you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you next week. Bye.